Hey everyone, today I want to speak to you about the seven domains of teacher leadership. Now these domains and functions were developed by a teacher leadership exploratory consortium in 2008. Contributors included state aid education agencies, institutions for higher ed, national organizations, teachers, teacher leaders, principals, and superintendents. The first domain is fostering a collaborative culture to support educator development and student learning. <clears throat> Essentially, this is speaking towards teacher leaders must collaborate with coworkers and colleagues to solve problems, handle conflicts, and create effective change. Great presentation skills. They are strong mediators and can facilitate productive collaboration. They embody strong listening and communication skills, create a level of trust among colleagues and create an inclusive culture. The second domain, <clears throat> assessing and using research to improve practice and student learning. Essentially, teachers assist colleagues in evidence-based research to guide instruction and decision-making. Teacher leaders analyze and interpret student data and school data to guide that decision-making. Teacher leaders also support colleagues with interpreting classroom data to make instructional and classroom management decisions. And lastly, teacher leaders support and encourage colleagues to collaborate with higher education institutions to better their practice. Moving on to domain three, promoting professional learning for continuous improvement. A few key points here. Teacher leaders model professional learning for improving teacher practices. Teacher leaders develop and implement professional development to staff. Teacher leaders will be advocating for staff needs, like sufficient planning time, co-planning opportunities, um, observation cycles, mentoring cycles, things of that nature. Teacher leaders also provide constructive feedback to coworkers. They utilize new information about emerging education, economic, social trends, and planning and pro facilitating professional development and learning. Moving on to domain four, facilitating improvements in instruction and student learning. A couple of key points I wanna mention. Teacher leaders promote data analysis and connect evidence-based practices to instruction, content, and assessment. Teacher leaders encourage reflective dialogue among colleagues. We really want our teachers to be reflecting on their practices so they can make decisions on how to improve those practices, utilizing those research-based and evidence-based research and best practices. Teacher leaders also utilize current technology to assist in classroom instruction, and they promote instructional strategies that are inclusive and diverse of the students within the school. <clears throat> Moving on to domain five, promoting and the use of assessments and data for school improvement and district improvement. So it's really essential that teacher leaders use data, local data, state data to guide that decision making for their school. They use a various student data sources to guide the instruction and planning. They collaborate with colleagues to interpret that student data and implement change based on the current reality. Teacher leaders ensure teachers are aligned with state and district standards. They also create a culture of trust and strong reflection once again to engage colleagues in challenging conversations around student data results. <clears throat> Moving on to domain six, improving outreach and collaboration with families and community. Teacher leaders must use a knowledge and understanding of different backgrounds, ethnicities, cultures, and language in the school and community to promote, to promote effective interactions among colleagues, families, and the larger community as a whole. About diverse backgrounds and cultures to increase understanding and find effective teaching strategies. Teacher leaders ensure effective communication to parents, being sure that language barriers are taken care of, being sure that we're inclusive to all the students within our school system. Collaborate with parents and stakeholders to ensure students are provided that equitable education opportunity. And then moving on to the last domain, domain seven advocating for student learning and, for, and the profession as a whole. A few things that teacher leaders need to be doing is informing colleagues of the latest educational trends and policies 
and how they impact classrooms and expectations for teaching and learning. Teacher leaders also collaborate with colleagues to research best practices and advocate for resources to meet the needs of their students. Teacher leaders will be communicating effectively with parents and community regarding the needs of students. Teacher leaders advocate for financial and professional resources for school improvement. And lastly, teacher leaders advocate for quality, effective, and equitable education in and out of the classroom environment. So that's a brief overview of the seven domains of teacher leadership. I hope that this brought some clarity to those domains.